It's been called, admittedly by its stars and creators, the funniest comedy spoof of reality shows ever. It's a reality TV movie, a hilarious new film by co-producers Titus Bergstrom and Lee Wen Ang. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So how did this movie come about? Well, I had been wanting to be a filmmaker for a long time, okay. and I thought I'd start off with something that I knew, which was dancing. Okay. And um, I had seen some dance shows with people I knew, uh -huh. um, and seeing them on camera for the first time, they seemed different. And I thought, wow, reality TV is kind of not completely real, you know? <laughs> yeah. So um, it fascinated me, and I wanted to kind of do something in that direction where you kind of see the satir satire of reality TV. Mm -hmm. And how do you get involved, Lee Wen? Well, I'm kind of his sidekick, sidekick in <laughs> everything that he does. So um, I have a musical theater background, and I act, and I just thought this was a fascinating project for us to work on together. And we're so immersed in the dance community. Uh -huh. You know, what better way to get the whole, you know, all these dancers, fabulous dancers that we collaborate with all the time on this great project and just make fun of ourselves. So you guys don't have a background in dancing because we do have uh, some b-roll of you guys dancing and it's, I mean, you guys are fantastic. So it, I, I thought, I just assumed that's what you do in your real life. Yeah, that's we're right. dancers. Yeah, we're professional Professional dancers, dancers yeah. Okay. Yes. So we want to talk a little bit about the movie itself and how did you come up with the idea of, actu you know, doing a spoof of reality TV. I mean, it could have been anything, right? It could have been a drama. Yeah, I love comedy and I love spoofs, so I think that might have been my attraction. Okay. Yeah. So we have a little bit of B-roll here, which shows um, you, I guess, dancing. This is you uh, yeah. performing. This is at Allegro, where we both teach. Mm -hmm. And um, these are just some clips of us sort of doing, it looks like there's a Bergy hair there still. From, yeah. At one point, uh, the character I play. Um, and yeah, so normally, you know, this is how I would look, but when I got into the character... Which I had is to, this character. Yeah, Bergy is this sort of awkward nerd. I wanted to create a character that was very sort of the underdog and the ultimate underdog, so he has somewhere to go. And here I am uh, a little bit overweight for the character, getting about 40 pounds. <laughs> That's uh, commitment. I mean, my guy, yeah. you paid 40 pounds for this role, right? I did, yeah. And here's some more awkward dancing. Uh, this is an environment that's actually not even real. I had to use a lot of green screen. We had no budget at all. I had to make the green screen, shoot on a green screen. You can see the before here. And um, we had some great dancers as well. And then you can see what that shot repeated looks like with the environment that I created there. And it's really neat as we're, you know, doing the scenes, we had absolutely no clue what it was going to look like <laughs> at the end. Neither did I. Do you guys believe in storyboarding or? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Any, now, yeah, what it would be. And this is a really cool shot. We turn the actors mm -hmm. and then later on when you see the way it looks later, we turn, it looks like we're turning the camera around the actors. Uh, so we had to build a turntable. Now this is just showing the silliness of you know, dancing. Ballroom dancing. Yeah, sort of spoofing the, the ballroom dance world a little bit. And this is another turntable shot mm -hmm. um, where you can see, you know, we're turning the actors and later we turn what looks like the camera. And these are actually, these are all world-class dancers. We had a lot of really great dancers in this yeah. movie. Yeah. Because actually, of our dance sometimes background. Sometimes when you, when you talk about like uh, dancing badly, if you, if you are a dancer, I'm sure that's difficult. That was well. the most difficult thing to do, was to dance right. poorly. And how did you come up, well, we're taking a look at, some more footage of, you know, putting in um, of, of the actual movie. But how did you come up with the storyline? Um, some of it's autobiographical because I was a really terrible dancer when I first started. Mm. So I wanted to, you know, become a really good dancer to impress this one specific girl. <laughs> and uh, so... Was it Lee Wen? Or it, or, I, we don't want to talk about it. Not at that time. Okay. That was a long time ago. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, yeah, so that was kind of the idea, was a, a character who had this big crush on this celebrity. Mm -hmm. um, the character that Lee Wen plays is called Lollipop, and she's this, you know, huge star. Yeah. So my character wants to sort of impress her with dance moves that he just doesn't even have, you know. So he has to figure out a way to get on the show and end up being, you know, uh, interesting as a dancer. And he's terrible, is the idea in the beginning, So that's essentially the, the plot line. For um, the there's movie. more to it than just that. Yeah, there's, there's a um, sort of... He has a history that he doesn't even know about. His parents were these great dancers. So he has to kind of live up to their name. I and um, he's got this dream to do the triple helicopter death drop, which is <laughs> the dance move that sort of, it's a dance, of, dance move of death, basically. So it's a very dangerous dance move he's trying to pull off. Yeah. Oh, but it's basically a story of an underdog. You know, against all odds, can he make it? 
will he die, you know, going after his dream? All right, well, you know what? We have a clip, a 30-second clip. So let's take a look at that, and we'll come back and talk um, a bit more. Okay. Do you want to set this up? I probably should set it up a little okay. bit. This is a scene where we have the three main characters, the antagonist, uh -huh. Maximus Sextus, and then the character I play, uh, Bergy, and then uh -huh. our female character, Lollipop. And uh, Bergy's become really successful, but he's not very talented, and it's really making the, the, the villain, you know, Frustrated, and at this point, he wants to take Bergie out. Okay. So, um, and then Lollipop tries to kind of help him. Day. Yeah, help him out a little bit. <laughs> okay, so this is a clip from reality TV movie. Bergie, Bergie, Bergie! That's all I ever hear about is Bergie. Well, I'm gonna give you a taste of reality. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's the kind of, it's kind of like slapstick silliness. Yeah, very silly, very movie. slapstick. Um, there's a lot of quirkiness, you know, it's just over the top, completely ridiculous and fun, so. And I, I think a lot of people can relate because reality TV type shows are everywhere now. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be really fun. Yeah. So where can people see the film? Well, it's gonna be playing March 12th in San Jose for a premiere. And what's gonna be cool about that is we're gonna have a situation where you can go to the movie and then you can actually go to a dance studio right afterwards and uh, dance with the people in the movie. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. So if you can't dance, are you gonna give like little mini lessons? Yeah, there's gonna be, we're gonna have the Bergie Boogie and we're gonna have Cram Cola for the first time and it's gonna be really fun. Oh, yeah. yeah. And so. when you had mentioned that there's an opportunity for people who want to maybe screen the film themselves somewhere else. That's right. So they can come to our website, realitytvmovie.com, mm -hmm. and request to host a screening. So if you live somewhere else, basically anywhere in the, in the U.S., uh -huh. you can host a screening in a theater near you. And invite all your friends and have your own dance party. Wow, that's yeah. true. But the stars don't show up wherever you come. Mm -hmm. I mean... Well, maybe, maybe, you know, if maybe. they really want us to, you know. <laughs> right? So. <laughs> okay. But in a special request. Especially in the Bay Area, I mean, you know, yeah, we're right here. True. So we made the whole movie right in the Bay Area. So, yeah, that yeah. makes it easier. That's right. So uh, what's next for Titus Entertainment? I want to make a dance drama, my next movie. So something different. A little more serious? Yeah, uh, there might be some comedy. I'm not going to throw it out if it's there, but yeah. more of a, you know, classical story that's more about the drama and my experiences as a dancer. I'm interested in kind of creating a story out of that. I see, okay. And Lee Wen, for you, that's just tied with everything that Titus does or that's kind of, you'll be involved as well? I'll be involved as well, definitely in that one. Uh, she has to be involved, definitely. <laughs> got it. You right. got to put her on camera again, you know. Well, so. Titus and Lee Wen, thank you so much for being here. Thank, well, thank you, so you. Much, Lisa. All right, so for tickets to the exclusive screening of reality TV movie on Thursday, March 12th at the AMC Saratoga 14 in San Jose, log on to realitytvmovie.com.